next one we have out on the floor here, Francis Kennedy. <coughs> It's a dead in room for myself and she was in the one car. She was my darling. Let me see this for a carry on. It is um, it is great to be here at the Gary McMahon Festival and seeing that it's going going from strength to strength, and it's a great credit to the McMahons that wherever you go throughout the country, their songs, their plays of both Brian and Gary are being sung everywhere and anywhere throughout the country and it's a real credit, you know, they stood the test of time and they'll be going on forever. Francis Scott, no, because of the breed of tinker in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm not what I want to do any of yours. I'll do one written by uh, Beth Burns um, many moons ago and it's a while since I did it. We're a football club in Kerry, our parish is quite small. Our name I keep a secret, that is no shame at all. We never won a jam thing, though we're there for years, you know. Our style, just like our players, belongs to long ago. <laughs> I have seen our long hair doozies with headbands on our team. Likewise, no fancy tracksuits or togs of black and green. Our jerseys, they are battered. In our boots, you'll find the fong. The tailor, he was generous. He made our togs quite long. <laughs> oh, there often was a mighty roar in our by sir, it out. Led by Chagey, Jack, our captain, toothless in the moat. There was grey hairs and pot bellies. Some had no rib at all. Our motto was, catch something, be it men or be it ball. Well, the catch and kick it was our game. We depended on the shoulder of halfback Patty Johnny with his his who like a ball. But then things changed. We should. I don't know who gained. Now it is all flick and solo. Our one's fine game. Tis not the same. Sure tis worse than water. Oh no. Now dear Mike Seamus became captain. Oh yes. That was the year you had the TB test. Um, he said we'd have to get modern now and, and you know upgrade like the rest. All clubs as he did goes on tours to places far away with suitcases and proper gear, sometimes to America. Well, at first we mocked and scoffed him, but very soon it did sink in that our small club could too take wing. Do not should haul it him. A trip to Rome would be the job. It would give us mighty hope. The only club in Kerry to have their boots splashed by the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> the Vales, says Sean O'Meal. He always wore the fawn, yeah. A gulgar of a fuck a bog, and will kill a bitterin, yeah. <laughs> to go to Rome, ye have some hope. A revy og on queer, a big Swiss guard will beat your lad and hunt you up Peter Square. Will I have you know? It came to a vote. The motion it was carried. Sean resigned. I got sure it was ill timed. He really should have tarried. It was money down. A hundred pounds. In a week it was all collected. Arrangements made and travel on to Shannon Dean we bushed it. Well, that was in the summer of the year 2018. We landed at Rome Airport. Oh, for drink sure we were keen. Sure a mighty touch that stuck our boys, but no pub could be found. <laughs> St. Peter's Square says me to hear, look, come on, sure the pub might stand around. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hit across the, to the Vatican, our gear and message bag. Across the holy city soon, soon we were all like wet rags. St. Peter's fine basilica. Soon came into view. Listen now, says Chairman Mike. I told you what we'll do. <laughs> when they walked up to the Vatican, two guards looked tall and grim. And we, 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 we came to call on, 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 on Pope Francis 
Uh, any chance you might be in? <laughs> well, a priest appeared in cassocks white. His face was brown and tanned. He said, I'm set to see this uh, very day. He flew to Ireland. Oh, <laughs>